what is the deal allegiance members welcome 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 to the first ever mock draft that i'm going to perform right here for you members only of this channel thank you for supporting this platform thank you for taking part in everything that we do here man without you there's no me and without us there's no nation there's only one nation shout out to y'all man for being members of this channel man so let's go ahead and dig into it we're going to do a seven round mock draft of course featuring our beloved Raiders we're going to see how this unfolds every week y'all we're getting close to that big day April 27th through the 29th it is the 2023 NFL draft with our Raiders with 12 picks in this year's draft with a whole lot of defensive needs and holes to go ahead and fill um also we could add uh, additional um offensive players maybe tight end offensive line maybe a wide receiver who knows We'll see you there. Oh, maybe a quarterback. You already know the rumors on that one. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and dig in and start this draft, man, and see what our Las Vegas Raiders can do in this draft to get this team better. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's start this draft. Yes, sir. All right. So you already know Carolina has the first pick, and they're running it down already on us. They're running it down already on us. Let's see here. We know Bryce Young is gone. Will Anderson gone. Chicago wants to trade with us. Dang, they, Anthony Richardson went to the Colts. Uh, who else? Miles Murphy went to the Seahawks. Then we got uh, Tyree Wilson went to the Detroit Lions. The, oh, the Bears want to move up to seven. Jalen Carter is there. I cannot pass up a Jalen Carter, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know people say he has red flags. Um, with the incident that occurred with him and losing um, the lives of a couple in a, in a in a street race. But um, I think, man, this kid is good, man. I think he needs to have um, the right influences around him. Um, doing this draft, though, man, because they want to give us the 61st and the 9th. We can drop back two spots. If we did drop back two spots, oh, my goodness. I think they want to move up to get Jalen Carter. That's a Chicago Bears type of move, going defense. But do we really do we want him, do we want him more than Chicago does? That's the question. Will Levis is there at quarterback. I don't want Will Levis. I'll wait. Um, I'll gamble on getting Hooker in the second round. But oh my my my, what to do? What to do? You know what? Um, I'm gonna um, and this is the only trade offer we have from the Bears. Is there anybody else? I don't want the offensive tackle. We could trade back and still get Gonzalez. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can get Gonzalez cornerback out of Oregon. Um, shit. You know what? I'm going to have to reject it, bruh. I'm going to have to reject it. And I'm going to go ahead and go with Jalen Carter, man. You, you, can't, you can't pass up on generational type. P possible generational type talent like him at defensive tackle and we need a defensive tackle so thank god the best available was the best available of need so we we, I, we took care of that let's see what these other teams do um let's see anybody that we are looking interested in get to the second round let's see so of course you guys already know we do have two third round picks due to the trade of Waller to the Giants, which is the 100th overall pick. Um, do I want to gamble? Let's see. Let's see how this unfolds. When it comes to us, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see a trade offer. Okay. One thing I, I live by and I don't do, I, I don't help the enemy <laughs> with anything. No trades with in the division will ever happen with me um luckily we do have two trade offers who's the second one we got the washington commanders they want to give us the 47th pick as well as 2024 second round pick in these mock drafts i really don't like to push things to next year's draft because we we're taking care of this draft this year with the mock and i don't that ain't gonna worry that that draft pick is not gonna be there for us when we do a mock next year so i do not take any 2024 um draft picks in any trade so what i'll do here is i'm gonna go ahead and um 
I'm going to reject this one. I'm going to reject that one. Now, best available of need. The number one linebacker right now um, is from out of Clemson, too, Trenton Simpson. And we do need a linebacker. So I think the best rule of thumb is basically I don't really believe in taking the best available because sometimes that can get kind of complicated. Um, if you happen to, like last year, I tried doing this of taking the best available. And I think around rounds three, four, and five, the best available were running backs in those three back-to-back -back rounds. And I end up with three running backs that, what I'm going to do with three running backs when there's other needs as well. You know what I mean? So I believe in the theory of combining both the best available with need. So I say take the best available of need to make this team better. So with that being said, we took a defensive tackle in Jalen Carter um, in the first round. Second round pick, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the linebacker out of Clemson, um, Trenton Simpson. I think that's a wise choice, and that's what we're going to do. So now when we approach the third round, we do have two picks, like I mentioned, in the third round um, due to the Waller trade to the Giants. So we do have a third round pick which I think is about seventh in the in the third round so once again we'll see what the best available player is is it a need if it's not a need like if it's a running back um I, I believe not not don't take a running back I think we're solid with white um Josh Jacobs will be back whether they extend him or not off that franchise tag that's that's yet to be seen but we do have Zamir White, Brenton Brown, and Sincere McCormick is coming off the injured uh, list that we stashed him away on, which this guy has a lot of um, Josh Jacobs' uh, ability if you go watch his game film. Okay, now we do have a, a trade offer from the Cleveland Browns. They won our 70th pick. In return, they give us their 74th as well as their 126th. Um, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to reject it. Right now, we got to um, solidify this defense. And I like what we have the best available um, as far as the edge rusher out of USC. Um, and I'm not going to mess up his name, but y'all can see it right here where the cursor is. <laughs> I'm not going to butcher his name because I know for damn sure I'm going to try to pronounce that shit and it's going to be all bad, for real. So um, we're just going to call him... Um, TT, we gonna take TT. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Let me ah, ah, ah. Hendon Hooker, third round. Uh, bruh. Ah, uh, we got a def we got a linebacker and we got a defensive lineman already. I'm sorry, I always had big eyes for Hendon Hooker. Um, last season at Tennessee, he had 69.3 completion percentage, 27 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. He takes care of the ball, high completion rate, 6'4", 222 pounds. He's mobile, hell of an arm. Um, his, he, his measurables aren't equal to Richardson, but the thing that he brings to the table um, that Richardson don't is the main um, aspect that you must judge a quarterback by, accuracy um, and taking care of the ball. Turnovers can kill you, and being accurate leads to completed passes, which means leads to the chains being moved, first downs, and get it in the red zone as well. I like his stature at 6'4", 222 as well. Um, to get him here in the third round, that's exactly coming off the ACL, plus him being 25 years old, uh, kind of scares a lot of teams off because of his age. But I look at it in reverse saying that that's just more experience that he developed in college. So um, I'm going Hendon Hooker. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going Hendon Hooker, but that will take care of our quarterback. And we don't have to worry about that next year. We can still continue to build this defense and add offensive, um, offensive talent as well. Um, due to if these one-year deals that we gave in free agency, if these guys decide to just pack up and, and hit the road in free agency, we got youngsters on this team that's ready to step in and take their place. Hennon Hooker, I would love to have him on the bench for a year, but I, this is a solid dude, solid quarterback. I, between him and CJ. Um, CJ, um, oh man, I'm drawing the blank. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the quarterback from Ohio State. Um, those are the two, my two favorite guys at quarterback in this draft. So 
we got we got Hendon Hooker in the third round. I cannot. I'm not complaining. We still got another third round pick coming up. Um, now let's see if we get any any um trade offers, which no, we don't. So now we get back on track. We don't need a running back. See, loan the first two players are best available are running backs. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop down and go to Washington State's linebacker, um, which is um Hanley Henley. So let me see who's beyond him. Another running back from TCU. Nope. Cornerback. You know what? Do I want to? Um, let's see. But we do need linebackers though. We do need linebackers. But we need corners as well. Ooh, another Illinois corner too. <clears throat> what to do? What to do? I like Jack Coons, the uh, tight end out of Old Dominion too. But I think I know he'll be there later. Um, we're starting to get into the part of the draft where we hit the fourth after the fourth round. Every round after that, we got multiple picks, starting with three in the fifth, two in the sixth, and two in the seventh. So what I'm gonna do? I think we're hold, we're held down with the additions of Hooper and um, OJ at tight end. We got the two young dudes. Um, and Fotheringham, and uh, so we got four tight ends right now. We can get a tight. I, like I say, I think Coombs will be there later. I think he'll be there later. But right now, we need to go ahead and start within the inside of the defense, starting with, like we did with the defensive line, um, linebackers. We grabbed the one from USC. So let's not um, and we're thin at linebacker, y'all. Let's let's keep it honest. The linebackers we have, two undrafted, and then you bring in um. Spillane from um, Pittsburgh, which I like that addition, but what is he going to do by himself? So with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead and solidify the um, the front seven. And we're going to go ahead and add the linebacker from Washington State, Henry. All right. So two linebackers, defensive tackle, quarterback. We're, the draft, hey, this draft is looking solid, y'all. Looking solid. Now let's just see what we can keep. Can we keep doing the right thing by grabbing the best available of need? That's what I, how I'm looking at it. That's why you see all them running backs. We didn't need all them running. That's why I said don't just pick the best available because your draft is not going to pan out the way you you hope it does. So you got to take control of it a little bit. Now, see, that cornerback is there now. Now now we get value. Now we get the value. You know what I mean? Um, who's the um, defensive tackle pickings? Um, wide receiver, I'm not worried about him. So let's go ahead and grab the corner out of Illinois. Um, the, the, the teammate of Witherspoon. So let's go ahead and grab him. And that was a nice little secondary that Illinois has also. So um, I'm confident. I'm confident in that. So now we have defensive tackle, two linebackers, quarterback, corner. See how I, 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 right now this draft is looking like an A. Might be an A plus, you know what I mean? Hey, that's that's. Come on, bro. We're trying to do the damn thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Raiders. Let's go. Let's build this damn defense for it to develop into something that's scary to the opposition. You feel me? Yeah, we we hey, I think we're doing this shit solid. And now we're in the fifth round. Now we got three picks. Now we get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Our intentions are still to knock this shit out the park. So we don't need running back safety. I like. Okay, here we go. The safety out of uh. Oh, is that him out of Penn State? No, that's not the one I had my eyes on. Offensive tackle. But you know we're gonna keep. We got two more picks in this round. Let's grab the best available of need. And right now, we don't need running back. We do need a safety. And he's the best available at that position. Bam. We building this defense, y'all. Believe that shit. We are building this shit. Okay, right back on us. All right. Now, do we go offensive tackle to help the offensive line? Um, or do we, do we add a wide receiver, a young wide receiver? There's another motherfucking linebacker, too, though. Damn, 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 tick. Another safety. I don't want to reach, though. So you know what I'm going to do? Let me let me see what the report is on this offensive tackle. Um, 
Oh, Wanye Morris. He was named after dude from um Boys the Men. Yes, I know this dude. Six six, three hundred and two pounds. Eight point three six out or scoring out, not scoring average, but um rookie uh score. Morris must be a deal. You know what? Let Let's go ahead and hit. does he play right and left tackle? We can groom him though. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna help the offensive line. We're not gonna be greedy on defense. Let's go ahead and grab Wanye Morris. Hey. Hey, oh, to the end of the road, still I can't let go. I know my vocals ain't great, but hey, welcome to the silver and black one, yay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You cotton pick yourself a bitch, you? What? You done gave the keys to the Bentley, the lunatic? What? Are you serious? Yada da mean, you know what I mean? Yada da. We in this bitch. All right, let's go. Let's let's see what folds to us, unfolds to us. Let's go. Shout out to the allegiance man, to the members man. Once again, man, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for for um man being members, man, for real. I'm gonna create some more contact. What I'm gonna end up doing though for us, I'm um, the members. We're gonna do some live shit together. We're gonna do a live members only. Um, I call it the clubhouse where we just talk whatever we want to. You want to talk football? Let's do it. I'll do about an hour. I might start that tonight. I'm trying to figure out how to go live, but only for members only. There's, I don't think I can do it through StreamYard because they won't let me select the option of how do I want the, um, the, rec the live to be, like public, private, you know what I mean? So I might have to go straight through um, YouTube, but either way, I'm going to find it out. And, and we're going to get down with the get down, man. Is the Allegiance Clubhouse, man. Our own clubhouse. You know, like they got out there already, but they be talking rap and all that other shit. We're going to talk Raiders shit and life. Whatever y'all want to do. All right, it's back on us. Once again, it's on. All right, y'all. So right now, they got a running back, linebacker, wide receiver, edge rusher, another edge. Who is he? From Florida? Oh, Cox. I don't, Brighton Cox. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Or uh Brenton Cox. Okay. Uh another linebacker. Jalen Graham out of Purdue. Who's where's the one dude? The LSU safety, Jay Ward. I think that was man. But we don't need a whole shitload, but we need linebackers, y'all. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna all oh, the linebacker of the two lane. I forgot about Dorian Williams. Dorian Williams, y'all. We're gonna go linebacker again. Bam. We gotta say. Hey, we got to solidify that front seven, like I said, man. We, we got to get some pressure because we got Mahomes twice a year. We're going to have Herbert twice a year. We got Wilson twice a year. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Throw that D. Throw that, throw that, throw that D. Yeah, we getting that D. Throw that D. We going to get it. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Throw the D, but we ain't going to catch it. <laughs> We're going to let it hit the ground, then we'll pick it up with a with, with some tones. <laughs> I'm not touching your D. But we do need D, though. We do need D. All right. Now, okay, let's go another. I think we should go another defensive tackle. Um, The defensive tackle out of West Virginia. Um, Who is it? Dante. St let, me, let me see his, uh, what they got. Oh, they don't have nothing on him, but they do have a size. 6'4", 285. So he's like a quicker, not a nose tackle. Um, this is a DT. Oh man, but we do need ah, we, we do got some parts at DT, but it's always good to bring fresh blood in just in case they might develop better than what's already on the team. He might be better than Nero Farrell Jr. Um, might be better than um uh, uh what's the name from from uh the Bears we got in free agency last year, Nichols, Bilal Nichols. We already got Jalen Carter, so we set with him because we pretty much know what he can bring to the table. Let's go ahead and um hold on, let me see who else. Let me not um I don't need a kicker. No running back, no quarterback. So what I'm gonna do, okay. Decision has been made. We're going defensive tackle. We're gonna go with West Virginia um defensive tackle, Dante Steels. Bam. All right. So now we're getting into the part of fifth, sixth round, six. We got four picks left, sixth, seventh round, four total picks. All right. So now, back into the draft, we go get positions 
that will let them fight, you know, for starting positions or whatnot. But at the same time, if they don't get get it, we always got them as depth and let them learn the system. So if somebody does leave in free agency, we have somebody to plug them right in and already knows our, our scheme, our system. All right, here we go. Kicker, nope, we ain't doing kicker. We ain't doing no quarterbacks. See, all the quarterbacks. I might do, oh, Javon Hicks, Cincinnati safety. Okay, that's the best. I don't want to do nothing, no quarterbacks and running backs. So let's, uh, oh, wait, Anthony Johnson Jr. I, did I see him before? Do they got his, uh, no, they ain't got nothing on him. So, but they got this one. This uh safety ranked higher than him. Okay, 6'2". I like size on my corners and safeties. You know what I mean? I love size on them. So at 6'2", 205 pounds, we got Javon Hicks out of Cincinnati safety. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add to the safety room. Like I said, let all these dudes ball out. And um, see, best man, you know, best man wins. Competition brings out the best. Now we're going into the seventh round. We do have two picks in the seventh. Um, let's see. If there's a wide receiver, man, I think I'm going to take a wide receiver just to add them. Because a lot of our wide receivers, we know we got um, Kobe Myers. We added was a Philip Dorsett for the speed. We added um, the other wide receiver from the Chargers that once was with us in 2015 as well as the New England Patriots the two years after that. So he knows the uh, system at well, as well at, what is he, 5'9", 100 and was it 90 pounds and he's 29 years old. But he coming off a season last year that was a, a career high of over 500 yards receiving with the Chargers. Nice depth piece, but also special teams. Kickoff and punt returner. Um, dude is solid. So, oh, man. I don't want no running backs. I don't need another safety, man. Now we get into Let's go. Let's grab an edge, y'all. Let's see if we can get a diamond in the rough at edge. So let's grab the edge from Oklahoma State. Let's check out and see if they got any um, information on him because I'm not familiar. But at a 6'3", 245? What? What? He's going to have to add a little bit more weight if he's coming, if he's an edge. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to add some weight, but he does have the front. 6'3", 6'3", is solid. Let me see what, what the wide receiver was. Tinsley out of uh, Penn State. Let me see. They ain't got nothing on this dude, neither. I hate when they don't put enough information on these guys on here. You run a damn mock draft, motherfucker. Go, go get the information. Okay, let's see. So what do I want to do? Do I want to go another edge? Because our depth at edge is not that great either. You know what I mean? God knows what we can get in the seventh round here. But I don't want to just leave. But we got like 11 wide receivers, bro, already. Somebody gonna, ain't going to make the team. Some people going to the practice squad. And then we're going to be stuck with our starters, which pretty much we know former um, receivers in the system with New England is probably going to be on the 53. You know what I mean? Hands down. And then I don't know about Keenan Cole, um, DJ Turner, and so on and so forth. So... Uh, we don't we don't need to force the issue on here. But I do want edge rushers. I want edge rushers because there's going to be a day where, especially if Chandler Jones, we got one edge rusher earlier. We got Malcolm Koontz. We don't know how, how they're going to develop him, if, if he's developing in the system. Is it even somebody they want to keep on the team? I don't know. His salary is not high, so that, that might be an indication of, of coaches being like, hey, we can keep him here because he's not – He's not hurting us financially and cutting them ain't gonna like free up a lot of money. So um but we need we need depth at the edge, man. We need to keep pressure on these quarterbacks, especially in our division. So I'm gonna go ahead and um uh, do I wanna do it? Brock Martin? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take him. Bam. Take our edge. We got one more pick left in the seventh, y'all. One more pick. Let's see how this unfolds. I think we built a nice future for our defense. 
like I said, all you got to really do out of 12 picks, hit on 50% of them. We addressed a lot of, of needs with the best available. So I think the turnout of this is going to be dope. I think, it, I think it's going to be dope for real. All right. Now it's on us. Let's see. We don't need a quarterback. Safety, running back, another edge, nope, cornerback. Let's go another corner. Five ten, one hundred and eighty-one. He's not too too bad. I don't know what his grade is. I don't think you know what I mean. Let's see. We can go ahead and try and maybe even reach a little bit. Let's go tight end. Let's grab um a tight end because we didn't grab one. I know we do got four, but like I said, oh six two. He's a little fucking tight end. He must be a blocking tight end at six two, two forty, because he really ain't got no size on nobody. Ugh. Ugh, let's see here. Mm. What to do, what to do. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and take. Fuck it, let's go, let's go one more time. Let's go with the best available. Um, let's throw another safety. Do I want to do that, though? Do I want to do another safety, or do I want to go ahead and, and take... Oh, they're gonna, that's that wide receiver again. Tinsley. We don't need quarterback. Man, they got a shitload of quarterbacks just hanging around. All right, let's go ahead and look at defense. We grabbed the offensive lineman already. We grabbed the quarterback. We got corner, a couple of linebackers, a couple of defensive tackles, safety, edge rushers. Um... Ooh, you know what? Let's let's go because we need we're gonna need some linebackers, bro. Let me see what's dude right here. Six two two thirty. Orgy. <laughs> His name is Orgy. What a writer! What a writer! Come to Las Vegas in your last. Hey, we got Hooker at um at quarterback, and we'll get an orgy. <laughs> we'll get an orgy. Oh my goodness, do it in my line. Fuck it, let's do it for the sake for namesake. The last pick of our of our selections in round seven, we are gonna go after Anthony Orgy. It's gonna be a orgy with hookers. <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. You gotta give me an A for that shit. You gotta give me an A for that shit. I got a hooker it for an orgy. What? All right. Here we go. Here go the last little bit, y'all, of what we got. First round, seventh pick, we got Jalen Carter, defensive tackle out of Georgia. Then we came behind that with linebacker Trenton Simpson out of Clemson. Then we grabbed um Hendon Hooker, y'all, quarterback out of Tennessee. I mean, I, I think that was a good one in the third round. We didn't reach on him. Um, then we got uh, Dayon Hanley, of a uh, linebacker out of Washington State. Then we came behind Hanley with a uh, cornerback, um, Jartavius Martin, cornerback out of Illinois, the um, the teammate of Witherspoon that went before him earlier, um, Jaari Brown, safety out of Penn State, uh, Wanye Morris, offensive tackle, Oklahoma. Then we went Dorian Williams, linebacker out of Tulane. Then we went uh, Dante Steeles, defensive tackle, West Virginia. Then we went Javon Hicks, safety out of Cincinnati. Then we went Brock Martin, edge out of Oklahoma State. And then Anthony Orgy, linebacker out of Vanderbilt. So we got our quarterbacks. We got defensive tackles, linebackers, safeties, corners. Offensive tackle. We went out there and addressed a lot of shit that we needed, y'all. I think this was solid. I don't think these motherfuckers on um on this mock draft is gonna give out grades, which I should have did another one. But yeah, like I said, this is not the, the last mock draft we'll be doing um before the draft. I think I'll do one each week. So for this week, so every Saturday, we're looking for it. So next Saturday we'll do another one because we only got a few weeks left, y'all. So
So we'll do another mock draft because hopefully during this week in the news, you'll start hearing like other free agents. There was a there was um a player that Seattle lifted the um exclusive franchise tag on. So now he's a free agent and he can go talk to anybody he wants to. And I think it's a was it a linebacker? I forgot the name. They uh posted the news. But yeah, you guys, look at our mock draft, man. We we did a we we did that shit. We did that shit. We addressed a lot of needs with the best available without reaching. And um, I, I think that's solid. So like I said, next Saturday, we'll do it again, man. For members only, it is the Raiders mock draft with the Allegiance, man. Thank you guys for being members to this channel. Um, I'm going to keep coming out with content for you guys to keep y'all entertained and exclusively for you guys for becoming members. So with that being said, man, I'm Lunatic Raider. This is Raiders Allegiance. You guys are members of the Allegiance, man. Hey, salute to the most dangerous members on earth. Y'all, NWA all day, baby. I'm Lunatic Raider. I'm out this B.I.U.